Yes, guys, band burst into our lives 40 years ago, and they're still dancing on the sand. Their newest album is called Future Past. Next week, they will be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame from Duran Duran. Please welcome Simon Le Bon. We have the Black Panther and the Hungry Wolf here. What a <laughs> night. Nice... <laughs> the Hungry Yeah. How hungry are you? Wolf. How's it going? I'm good. I, I gave myself, in, in rehearsal, I gave myself a, a, little, a little rehearsal injury. What happened? Is, is, my lip, is my lip a bit fat? No, looks fine. Like, you know, singers, they often bang their faces on the microphone. Like, uh-huh. I did it. It's a repetitive in injury with me. Well, you know what? The um, plump lips are very hot right now. Yes. You could actually... Yeah. You it's could probably sell today. whatever you just did, you know? Very good to see you. I want you to know that every female member of my family asked to come to the show tonight good. because you are here. Good. <laughs> my good. sister, my cousins. Uh, there, oh, there they are. And they, they, and my cousin Ann's got a Duran Duran T-shirt. <laughs> I thought you were going to flash me. <laughs> well, that would be... Uh, well, yeah, that wouldn't be great for me, but... Um... <laughs> Everybody else would enjoy it. Yeah, I know. Uh, it's great to have you here. You know, I think I interviewed you in, like, in the late yeah. 90s. I was working at K-Rock yeah. Radio yeah. with Kevin yes. and Bean, and, um, and we went out to Malibu, and we interviewed you guys. And, yeah. like, at that time, it was like, oh, they got this big record coming back. It was like, that was like a comeback, and here we yeah. are. I mean, how many years later? It's crazy. It's the 20th comeback, I think. It's your 20th <laughs> yeah. comeback, yeah. You just it's keep... It's like, there's so many comebacks, we haven't gone away. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Like Michael Myers or something. Uh, you are, um, uh, you guys, wow. <clears throat> I was thinking about, do they know it's Christmas? Right. I watched that today. Yeah. I happen to love that song. I, yeah. I, I love the song. And I watched it, and I was watching you. George Michael comes on, and he sings. And then it's you. And then Sting comes on. Yeah. And Bono. Yeah. And it's just this crazy lineup yeah, of stars. Do you remember that day? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, well, I think we fl we'd flown in on the night before, we kind of all turned up at the studio. And it was just amazing being in that room with all these incredible, incredible artists. Yeah, I would think so. And the first time, a lot of, a lot of, for a lot of us, for many of us, it was the first time we'd met each other. And, you know, we stayed in, and some of us stayed in contact afterwards. Who'd you stay in contact with? Well, Bob's always been a friend. Bob Geldof? But that's the first time I met Bono and, um, mm -hmm. and The Edge as well. And... Um, and lots of people. Wow. I can't, yeah. That's crazy. And I was also thinking about an experience I had actually with my sister where we were, we watched uh, Live Aid, that big concert in 1985, yes. and I taped the whole thing <laughs> yeah. on a VHS tape. And this, I have the lineup for that, that concert. And it is just, now there were two simultaneous concerts for anyone who wasn't, isn't old enough to have seen that, but it was like the biggest, I don't know, it was the biggest deal in, like, I think my whole life at the time. Philadelphia and London, and the Philly show alone, and the London show was almost as good as, maybe just as good, Black Sabbath, Run DMC, Crosby, Stills and Nash, Judas Priest, Brian Adams, The Beach Boys, Pretender, Santana, Madonna, Tom Petty, Kenny Loggins, The Cars, Neil Young, yeah. The Thompson Twins, yeah. Eric Clapton, Phil Collins, Hall & Oates, Mick Jagger, Tina Turner, Bob Dylan, Keith Richards, Ronnie Wood, Led Zeppelin, yeah. Duran Duran. Yeah. I think we take that stuff for granted, like, yeah, you guys are all big stars. Of course you're all together. But yeah. I would imagine that that was a mind-boggling experience mind, for you. It was mind-boggling. I've got, I've got one great memory, actually, from that day. We were all backstage. Just I think we came on after Crosby, Stills, um, Crosby, Stills and Nash. Wow. Wow. We don't, we came, we were, so we're setting up um, behind the curtain. They was it alphabetical front... order? Why were you on... Uh, <laughs> after... <laughs> <laughs> it's very funny. <laughs> I wish I'd thought of that. <laughs> um, and we, we're all behind the curtain, and um, I think we were doing some kind of line check, and John's going boom, 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 boom on the bass, and um, Stephen Stills pulls back the curtain and goes, Will you guys shut the up? <laughs> really? <laughs> you got yelled at, scolded by Stephen Stills? Yeah, yeah. Wow, did, were you bummed or did you laugh? No, we thought it was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> 
It is funny. Claim to fame. They're screaming at you and then going on. Our house is a very, very. <laughs> <laughs> really. While I have you here, I want to ask you about some lyrics because yeah. I okay. feel like your band. <clears throat> One is maybe, I think is you're up there in the, uh, like up there with Billy Joel in the uh, lyrics we get wrong. Okay, yes. Yeah. But also I want to know, like for instance, uh, in Hungry Like the Wolf, I'm on the hunt, I'm after you. Yeah. I always thought it was, I'm on the hunt, Amanda, you. I'm right. on the hunt, Amanda. <laughs> It could have been, I'm on the hunt for men like you. <laughs> well, well, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> But then we go into smell like I sound, I'm lost and I'm found. Right. What does that mean, smell like I sound? Well, it means what it sounds like. It does. <laughs> and, it, and it smells like what it sounds like. So like you're running after yeah, Amanda yeah. or whomever you, it yeah, is. Yeah, there's a, there's, a, there's a kind of howl, you know? If you, can, if you could smell a howl, that's, oh. that's what it would smell like. If you could smell it, you've actually made, oh. it, you've actually made it even less clear in a way. Yeah. <laughs> It's my talent. The reflex. Why don't you use it? Try not to bruise it. Oh. What are we trying not to bruise in this well, song? Use your imagination. <laughs> <isn't it? laughs> oh, is that really it? <laughs> so you have a, um, you got a movie coming out. Yes. You got the big premiere tomorrow. Absolutely. Yes. And right here in Hollywood, right? Because the movie is called, the movie is the, set here. The movie is called A Hollywood High. A Hollywood High. Yeah, and it's a, it's um it's a it's a it's a live show plus documentary that we filmed earlier on this year on top of um, a hotel in Hollywood, and we had a wonderful shot in the background of the um, of the Capitol Tower, which we lit up in the the colours of the Ukraine. The Capitol flag. Records Building, a historic yeah. Capitol Records Building. Yeah, which yeah. yeah, but people, I think some people really know what that is, but like Sinatra recorded there. Have you been in the Capitol Records? Well, we were signed to we were signed to Capitol oh, so you for many certainly years. Have been in there. We yeah. had many business meetings in on those stacked records. Yeah, and so, but the best part of it actually yeah. is that there's an incredible recording studio at the bottom. Uh -huh. that hasn't changed since the 1950s. Well, it hasn't changed since the building was, was designed and built. It's amazing. Have you recorded in that studio? Yes, we have. You have? Yeah, yeah we did. I can't remember what it was, but I, remember, I do remember being on mic doing something there. Well, uh, it's great to have you here. Uh, you guys uh, are going to do a song for us tonight. This is the new album. Yep. It's uh, Duran Duran, Future Past, and the new Duran Duran concert film, A Hollywood High, opens in theaters November 3rd. The great Simon LeBon, everybody. We'll be back with Duran Duran.